Our next guest is a celebrity dog trainer who's been helping people and pets for more than 20 years, although he does not look it. No. And now Cesar Milan is taking on his most challenging cases yet in his newest series for National Geographic. Better human, better dog. You want him to move before you throw it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me show you. Wow. See, so the reason why he's doing that is because my energy is strong enough mm -hmm. to take over that space. I see. And the, the way you make your energy big is with the confidence. Not this, but this. Especially with him. Yes. We all just sat up straight yeah, in really. our chairs. Please give a round of applause to yes. Cesar Milan. Thank you so Thank you. much. Well, I'm going to be back in New York. Yes. Great Bienvenido. to see you. Gracias, gracias, gracias. So before we get into the business mm -hmm. of your new show, which, mm -hmm. by the way, congratulations. Yeah, gracias. Awesome. gracias. Thank we you. had to show off our own dogs. Okay. Mine see. is a monster. Our misbehaviors. Okay. I don't know who's first, Nico or... It looks like Nico's up. There's Nico. This is my Staffordshire mm. Terrier. I love him. The last time you and I met over a screen, I think it was during the pandemic, wow. I said, he loves humans, but not other dogs. Mm -hmm. So now, every time I take him for a walk, I see other dogs, and I'm like, there's go. Cesar. Yeah. <laughs> Cross the street. <laughs> well, let's show, show your dog. And there's my Tula. She's a oh. mini dachshund. She looks really innocent, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> So the stuffing of every toy is all over the living mm -hmm. room, but uh, we can yeah. talk. We can yes, talk. We we'll can talk offline. Talk long time. Yes. We'll talk offline because we want to get to the business yes. of you. You're so much more than just a dog whisperer, but I think people have come to know you as someone who has a way with animals, really. That's, that's the entrance to the human. Right, right. exactly. Talk right. to us about that. What does that mean? Well, see, that, that episode you were watching, that lady got bitten 30 times, what? you know, before she, she, before she called me, and the reason wow. why, I mean, she could have called me a long time ago, but <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they had a baby now. You know, so then the baby started crawling, so she was like petrified that a dog is gonna do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so, the, what you were watching there is how, how to claim space, energy, right, and understanding, obviously, and then it's the action. But most people, when, when they are in that situation, they make the energy smaller. Mm -hmm. So, at the moment you make your energy smaller, the dog is gonna come in. So, even humans will come into your space. So, your energy has to be calm, confident. That's why I'm always talking about calm, confident energy, because mm -hmm. that's the energy that creates the leadership. Mm -hmm. Protection, direction. Most people want to give affection right. or excitement right. without the protection and direction. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So female or male need to uh, represent leadership first in order for the dog to successfully live life. So you have to project as the alpha, so to speak? If you want to call it that way, you know, we humans love labels. Right, <laughs> right. And so that's a, just this energy. So right, just in, in reality, confidence. you have to carry four energies. Calm, confident, love, joy. Because mm -hmm. oh, you just leave the love and the joy after the trust, respect. So you right. want to build trust, respect, and then you give the love. Because you can love somebody, it doesn't mean you trust them or respect them. Exactly. Yeah. You see this I, mean? is, I feel like you're talking about humans. It, well, <laughs> it is human. It certainly it work. But it works for dogs, too. Because a human is practicing what he knows on the dog. Right. right? So you are energy, philosophy, and action. So whatever you have learned over the years, you want to put it on the dog, especially now more because people really, really want to practice humanizing the dog mm -hmm. before allowing the dog to be animal, mm -hmm. dog, breed, name, guilty. human. Guilty, guilty. So the human is the, the last thing you, sh you should right. do, you know, because that's more for you than it is for the dog. Mm -hmm. A cat wants to be cat, a horse wants to be horse, a bird mm -hmm. wants to be bird, female, male. Right. That's our identity. Right. You see what I'm saying? So when people say, no, I want the dog to be a human, right. and then I'm going to call Caesar. It's like, right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, right. But I think that that's the thing. I mean, some people are, it's unconditional love. They always say a dog gets unconditional love, right. which we don't necessarily get from humans. So when we have the dog, that's all we do is throw that love immediately and affection at the dog. But that's not always necessarily Because you've been conditional that he has to be a human. Right. So the whole conditional, unconditional love is not real because only the dog we're is practicing making, unconditional. We're making it. And the human is conditional. And conditioning, right. right. I've often seen, oh, look at this dog. <laughs> I've seen, you know, uh, bumper stickers. Who, who, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> who, who rescued Talk about oh, obsession. Go fetch several times. I've seen these bumper stickers. Who rescued whom, right? Did mm -hmm. I rescue the dog or yeah. did the dog rescue me? This, sound, this may sound strange, but at what point do we begin and our pets end and vice versa? Because I know I have, I'm looking at our very own Alex Lee, who ha she refers to her dog as her son. Her child. Yeah. You know, or, or as their child. Is this, is there a detriment to this or is this, you know, um, 
Well, it's, 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 it's an order for things. Right, like you right? said, they're animal yeah, first. Animal first, species dog, breed, name, then is the son or the husband. Because mm -hmm. I have heard people saying, this is my husband. Wow. Right. And the husband is right there. I feel that. Exactamente, exactamente. It's like, and, and so my dog doesn't let my husband come into the bedroom. I wonder why. The one with the two legs, yeah, he's still waiting. It's yeah. a competition of husbands right. inside the house. Right. But one is a dog and the other one is a human. Right. One pays the bills, does, the other one doesn't pay anything. The other one is yeah. eating up all the, the bills. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, we spoke a little bit about the new show, Better mm -hmm. Dog, uh, Better Human, Better Dog. That's right. But tell us a little bit about the work you're doing with uh, Halo. Well, this is a color that actually brings, it's three things you want in your house you want a dog to follow the rules the boundaries the limitations this mm -hmm. is for indoor behavior right so when you're not there you need it's, it's like a rumba right that you program <laughs> Oh, it literally right, is. Okay. So it, it, it helps a dog to maintain the rules, balance, limitations. So when you're not there, your dog maintain this. Mm -hmm. When you go outside, you need three activities: follow, play, explore. Follow, yeah, play, you, explore. You see, I'm Virgo, so I like to break I things. Was, no, but that's a good way. To I like do to it. break things in I'm three. I'm a Virgo rising. We're oh, meant to be. Oh, there you go. So, so I break oh, it down sense. in a way, right, that, that is easy to understand and why you need it, right? Because outside, you want to practice follow, being follow, yeah, right? play with the dog and explore. But in that order, don't do exploring don't and play. Oh, yeah. and you lose and them. Wow. Jump the follow. Yeah, you lose them. Because the most important activity is to be follow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then you reward with play and explore. So the color will help you to achieve all of that because humans are learning to reconnect back to their natural, simple, profound. Right. That's what I bring back to the table. It sounds to me account. like humans need more training than the dog. <laughs> I was just I'm going to be in business hey. forever. Right? You are. You really are. You, you're never going to retire. No, never. But I hope you always come back. Yes. yes. Talk to Best of luck. New show as well. And the Halo. Thank you. And Halo. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. You can stream yes. the first two seasons of Better Human, Better Dog on Nat Geo TV.